Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here in the basement of the keep in West Hill on the Citadel server. This is a three and a half year old build now and uh, we're working towards finishing things up. We've been working on some of the landscaping around the town for the last little while. I need to refresh my food stores before I go back out and figure out what's going on here. So if I remember, I thought I had brought some carrots back with me. I've got a stack there. Maybe I didn't. I thought that I had brought more carrots than a stack. All right, well, that's good enough. It'll get us through a chunk of today anyway. Mind Trip Media, thank you very much for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Uh, we're going to need a lot more gold. That should do. Stack it a bit, and do I have them in here? Uh, yes. Imagine that will probably do us, and we're good for rockets. And I just realized that my texture packs are not on. I was doing the screenshots for Spawn Chunks podcast. All those fields and no carrots? Oh, I totally have carrots out there. I just don't want to pull them up. I don't want to... I mean, I could. With all the time we spend in this area, they would regrow in no time. I could absolutely harvest. Uh, one of the big fields... Um, there. That Those are carrots. I think these the green tops up here are carrots. The whole thing here is potatoes. But then the carrots are a little bit up there. <laughs> the TARDIS has returned apparently. That means Alistair's been online. And this is where we left all of our stuff last time. Uh, thanks for fixing the flower farms. That's the thing from Cosmic from before. Get rid of all that. Stick those away. Hunter Triple Five, resubbing 39 months, coming up on the big 40. Thanks so much, Hunter. Three years, let's not consider that I showed up after West Hill started. <laughs> That's rough. Now I feel old. Uh, actually, that reminds me, the anniversary for our streaming is coming up on March 15th. And according to Twitch... It is the the six year anniversary of me becoming an affiliate. So it's not the first stream date, but it's the affiliate date. That's coming up. I think that's next Friday. What's the date? Yeah, next Friday. So the plan is to try to have a new Lego set for that stream. But I don't know what I'm going to get yet. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Alternatively, I might do a longer stream day. I don't know. I've never really celebrated the the affiliate anniversary, so I'd like to start because it makes sense to do it, right? So I know that we've got to remove some of this dirt here, and I think most of the other stuff is done. Yeah, all this is... All this is finished. I guess we have to look at the book and make a decision as to what we're going to do next. Does anybody notice sometimes that your cursor 
will jump around. Every now and again, when I open a shulker box, my cursor is not where I expect it to be. Uh, Northgate, West Hill Valley, Road Textures, Wheat Farm, Spruce River, Points of Interest. We haven't done those yet. Riverbanks, Town Riverbanks. So we that's probably next. River Bottom, Town River Bottom. East River Banks. That's the Westall River. All right, well, we should probably stick within the town. I've been working on this area inside the town. So we will need likely some coarse dirt. Probably a couple different versions of slabs. Oh, we just need to make more of those. Stone slabs, and I guess we'll bring some andesite in case we need it. And I've got some grass blocks. That should be it. So what I want to do is, now that we've got this cliff face done, I want to go around the edges of the river and make sure that we've not missed anything. So that will involve a lot of swimming, so we'll take the elytra off so I don't go crazy. It feels dark. I don't know why. I guess it's maybe just because it's dark outside. It's very rainy here today. We're getting like torrential rain all day here in Dartmouth, so it's it's gray outside. I've turned on lights in my studio where I wouldn't normally at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Right, so some of this I feel like we could probably change to stone to make more sense. Yep, I think we're going to start there. This is why I brought these, because if I've done something already I'll just replace what's there with the appropriate texture or blo appropriate block I guess depending on how much is going to be underwater I may want to go get some water breathing potions too Now over here, some of this has to be dirt, but I think we'll take this section away. Oh, those are the wrong blocks. And probably these ones as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that dirt. We'll come back and revisit this when we do the points of interest. So for now, I think this is okay. So 
So I think I'm just going to do the uh, the cliffside first. We'll just do a single pass along here to make sure it looks decent. I'm not expecting it to be anything too crazy here. So stuff like this, I feel like we can maybe just add a little bit more to make it feel like it transitions a little bit better. Again, not a huge deal, but we've got this look off here, so it's going to be nice that this looks good. And then stuff like that will be cool as well. Just to create a little variation. Yeah. Simple, simple. You'll miss it when Westall is done, but think of all the cool things that we're going to be doing. I've been watching a lot of Hermitcraft, and I'm really jealous of them using the crafter. I really want to start doing things like bamboo farms and auto crafting. And I think one of the first things I'm going to set up in the sci-fi area is going to be something like a glass smelter that never runs out of fuel. Like we never have to worry about refueling it because the bamboo is just going to be a constant, a constant fuel source. I think it's going to be awesome. So I don't want to mess with the edge of the river. I like where the blue is. So when you look down here, I don't want to change the shape here. So I don't want to, I don't want to add stuff like that. Uh, well, actually a slab is okay, but if I added a full block there, it really wouldn't, wouldn't work. I don't think. We can do stuff like that. Oh, I knew I was going to need a bucket. Some salmon helpers. Yeah, maybe I'll get, instead of squidding, maybe I'll get a bunch of useless salmon drops now. Although salmon don't seem to kill themselves the same way that squid do. I learned that lesson the hard way, actually. One time when I had a, um, a cool little pond with waterfalls, it was back when they first added tropical fish. So I went and I ventured all over the server, got a bunch of tropical fish, put them in my little koi pond. And then because I used um, soul sand to make bubbles at the bottom of a little waterfall, all the fish ended up jumping out of the pond with the bubbles and they ended up taking enough damage to die. It was real dumb. I wonder if Hermacraft has some inside information about the crafter. They are willing to accept the risk it might change before released. No, I I just think that it I think they just use their experience and I think for them it's just worth the risk. Um there's a chance it could change, but I and I agree with them. I think that the crafter is pretty solid. We've not seen any updates to the crafter after the first round of snapshots. Granted, all the snapshots have been focusing on 1.20.5 instead of 1.21, but I, I don't think the crafter is gonna change very much from where it is now and if it does it might be something like a texture change or like i feel like the way that it's functioning yeah uh i don't recall if mojang has said if the crafter is feature complete i don't recall 
I feel like I feel like they said the armadillo they said something was feature complete recently and I can't remember what it was but it was something that they I remember in an article they did actually say that but I don't think it was the crafter But I'd be willing to take the risk. Like I, I would totally be willing to give that a go. And this is me just kind of going along here and tweaking little bits just to kind of give a little bit of variety just to get away from that Minecraft block grid. I find a couple of slabs here and there go a long way to making things feel nice. Also, I like getting rid of these vertices where a bunch of things all meet at one point. It gives a better layered look. We've already addressed this. We're going to have to do some work here, so I'll make a mental note to come back and do that. Uh, that'll be today. Like we'll we'll probably we'll try some things out here. See what we can come up with. Any ideas for the sci-fi area you can share? I think it could be a fun certain uh fun to contain everything. Some giant floating spaceships of sorts. Uh, actually, I'm thinking one of the nice things about the sci-fi area is that I'm going to be building it in a um, mushroom. Is it mushroom flats? What's it called now? Mushroom fields? Yeah, we're going to do that. I don't even know if we have one discovered on the server yet. I don't think so. I know there are some like in this general area. Uh, they're no longer moves from Ireland's hunter, actually. Uh, they, um, because they don't have to be islands. I can't remember when they changed that. I think it was in 118, but they no longer have to be islands. They can be peninsula. They can be attached to other parts of the, the world. So I'll leave this because I want to come back and do some texturing around it. Uh, this is definitely going to get removed. Replaced with stone.
again, I'm thinking about this space here and just making sure that this looks decent because there is this little pathway. I'm looking forward to make the, making this feel a little bit more obvious too. I don't want to put a railing here, but I feel like we need to do something to show this off. Also, these feel very strangely disjointed. I might make them feel like they're more of the part of the cliff here. Yeah, when I come back and do the other side, we'll take a look at that. Still called Badlands Mesas from time to time. Don't uh, don't trust me. I know knowing modern technology. I don't. I mean, I do a new show about Minecraft, and I don't get the names of things right half the time. Can't remember when it was. A couple of weeks ago on the Spun Chunks, I was blanking on the name of something very basic. It was like one of the bamboo components or something. And yeah, uh, Kiki, be good. Mesa is technically, I think, a better name. I'm pretty sure we still call the things the mesas. The things that I call the Badlands now are the eroded Badlands because th that's easier to remember. Um, and that's like the cool, very spiky looking stuff that they have. I'd love to build there. That would be a fun place to build. But I think I thought about doing the sci-fi area in in a Badlands, but ultimately I think it would be better to do it um, in a mushroom biome. Oh, I missed these. Yeah, so I'm not going crazy. I'm just trying to smooth things out a little bit here. I obviously need more planks. Not planks, slabs. Uh, I agree. Yeah, Hunter. Uh, I've seen devs call biomes and di things different, different names as well. Let's just do a full two stacks of slabs. Oh, I don't have any more stone in here. Oh, you know what? I'll bring these. Tough cobble. don't have tough slabs. See, that's the other thing. I'd, I'd like the Freedom D be able to start using tough slabs as well. That would be nice. So the data pack that they use on Hermitcraft, well, and I mean, here's another fair point. That data pack is not going to work after 1.20.5. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure what I'm going to be ending up doing is updating to 1.20.4 and then I might just not update to 1.20.5. It depends on what people want to do on the server, but I think I'd rather have the crafter early and use some data packs and mods in 1.20.4 right up until 1.21. 1.20.5 is not offering me enough for it to be worth the item component changes that are going to completely remove data packs from being um, up to date for as long as it takes uh, data pack authors to fix them. And uh, I don't see that being an easy, easy fix. Oh, nighttime. Yeah, I think the idea behind using the um, mushroom fields as a biome for the sci-fi area is that if I decide to do any green grass it's going to be very bright and alien looking and if I decide to 
have wide open spaces, I don't have to worry about mobs on the surface. That's the main, the main motivation for it. The tricky part is I want to have a bunch of farms. And so what I'm going to have to do is carefully um, figure out where outside of that biome I'm going to put the farms and then have the pipes and goods from those farms be brought in. So like, like if I had a skeleton farm or, I mean, I guess I could always get lucky and find a spawner. If I find a spawner, then that would be great too, within or under. And I guess it depends too, because if, if the mushroom fields go down because of the new depth of the world, any mushroom field that I find is probably going to be um, new chunks. So that means that um, we could potentially go down vertically. And get new stuff and get spawns and stuff that way. So we'll see. Now, do I have? There's not really a lot to look at here, so I'll go up there and see if we can see much of this. So I don't want to spend too much time on places that you really just can't see. But, okay, yeah. So, like, you can very clearly see see that there. So I'd like to do some work on it just so, so it looks a little bit nicer. Right now it looks very much like a grid. So we can do stew little things like that. Maybe even remove this one. Oops. And it very quickly just breaks up the grid, although I don't like don't like that look. Maybe we'll do this. That's better. I keep on missing. And that one single block up there looks kind of dumb. We almost have the tough blocks. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing. The data pack that they use on Hermitcraft, it adds everything in the experimental features except for the trial chambers. So you get all the new copper blocks. You get new all the new tough blocks. I probably wouldn't be building with the new tough textures. What I would be fine building with would be the tough slabs so like it's the texture we already have it's very unlikely that they're going to change the tough texture i probably wouldn't spend any time building with like polished tough or tough bricks just because in the off in the off chance that those change right i wouldn't want to be stuck with something so yeah that would be that would be where i would probably draw the line That looks pretty good.
Maybe I made that the wrong way. bit better. All right, so now we have another point of interest here, this dock. So again, I want this to look decent. It feels a little empty in here, so maybe we'll just push this up a little bit farther. Yeah, feels a little bit better. Josh Lizard, hello. Hope you're having a good day. I have no idea what the plan is for Infinity Cove. It's still on 1.20.1. So, so is this. We're, we're on 1.20.1 here as well. I could update. I've been I've been wanting to add a couple of new data packs. I think I'm going to try now that the fresh animations pack is available for um for um for fabric. I want to see if I can get that going. So again, I'm not going to do the whole mountain. I'm just doing like this lower, lower third where it can be kind of seen from these docks just to try to make it look a little bit nicer. Kind of like whatever's in your, you know, I'm not worried about it up here because you'd have to kind of look up, but I feel like anything in your view, kind of tweaking that a little bit helps. So I'm going to leave this for now. Um, honestly, I think what I'll do is I'm probably going to replace what's in between here with andesite. I have a bigger deposit of andesite. I like the idea. It just wasn't so visible when we did it the first time. You can see the effect that having tough around gives. So I think I might try to do that in other spots. I think I brought a bed as well. Yes. Uh, I don't know why. I can't remember why we couldn't update. I think my problem was that I was trying to figure out the tables and chairs data pack hunter, and that's why we didn't update to point two or point three. Um, and weren't point two and point three like hot fixes? So when that starts to happen, I sit on my heels and just wait. And ultimately, I think I just got frustrated. And once the new snapshot started coming out, I was like, all right, well, there's no point in in pushing and updating right away. Now I have a reason. Now I have a reason that it makes sense to go to 1.20.4 now or soon. I, I would have done it today had I had the 
forethought. I just, I was busy this morning doing other stuff and I just slipped my mind. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow before the Saturday Minecraft stream. Yeah, so now we've got this chunk of andesite here. And we can maybe cap it off. Maybe reduce the size of some of it a little bit. The hard part about all of this, of course, is that when you get into a certain stage, it's hard to jump up and make changes. Yeah, it looks like a, a decent deposit. So I'm probably going to do something like this over here as well to try and transition. So I'll go back and I'll get some iron ore and see if we can't work that in. Oh, I missed the stairs. Can't keep track of the minor updates anymore. I think the issue there, Hunter, which I do hope Mojang fixes, is while I know that they need to have some experimental features in the game long term to get player feedback, I think the issue is that they do snapshots and experimental features for both versions at the same time. So you've got experimental features, which are 1.21, and then you've got snapshots that are for 1.20.5. And I think what they need to do is if they've got changes that they're they're implementing or want to implement for 1.20.5, uh, then they should just, just do those until 1.25 comes out and then switch to 1.21. But the only thing that happens there is then you just, you know, like you don't have nearly as long for those experimental features like villager trades um i can't remember what else is on the experimental features tab right now uh, trial chambers i guess they're just not in the game for testing as long for people that want them i don't think i want anything darker So I don't know if you can see much of this from up here. A little bit, I guess. Yeah, I like that that detail that pops into your view as you're on the road. We'll do something similar here where right where the andesite meets the stone. See, this is where I would like to put like a, a tough slab instead of a full block. I think that's where I would want to put a tough slab. I've got the tough and andesite and stuff in there. I feel like we could have maybe a little bit more iron here.
And I wonder if we could also get some cobblestone in here too. That might be too bright. We'll see. No, that looks okay. Ancients is raiding with a party of five. Thanks so much for the raid, Ancients. Welcome in, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. We're working on some river details. Just kind of poking in a little bit of mineral deposits and some loose stuff here and there, just at points of interest along the river here. So when you're down here and you look over there, there's something cool to look at. And it looks cool from up here, too. So when you're coming down the road, there's like this little bit of kind of detail that grabs your attention. What were we doing in Minecraft today? I'm assuming it was Minecraft. That's usually the case when people raid. For folks that don't know, my name is Joel Duggan and I stream and podcast full time. You might have heard of me on things like the Spawn Chunks podcast, which is all about Minecraft every Monday. Brand new episode out this week. And we talked about um, the item component changes. And we actually had a really long discussion about um uh en like enchanting and and xp it was really cool Working a bit on a small stone type factory. Also built an easy villager breeder next to my book trading call and generated some villagers. Very cool, ancient. That's awesome. Factory can also auto generate cobblestone and smooth stone. We were just talking about the crafter and how I want to grab a data pack and add the crafter to my world early, like they did on Hermitcraft, because I, I like the idea of automation and uh, I think it'll be fun. To mess around with stuff like that. I think I might make this stone. Yeah. So I feel like this little detail of tough and iron gives a nice transition to the surrounding blocks. I think there's a number of people on this server that would be happy about it. I don't know whether Steven's that interested in the crafter, but I'm sure Alistair is. Alistair and I are both the, the resident redstone players on the server. Although Hannah is also making some farms now too.
it's always really satisfying when you've got something that you you're trying to work through and then you realize that there's some problems and you can sort it out make the changes and then everything works the way that you want i do find that very satisfying uh i think i just need to bring a little bit more cobblestone over on this side Help transition a little bit. Mm, that might have been too much over here. Can the crafter be used to auto make and plant flowers? <laughs> Asking for a cosmic who unwork lurked specifically to ask this question. Uh, you can auto make dyes out of flowers. I don't believe you can do anything else. Um, and then you can auto craft those dyes into other things. But uh, you can't, I don't think you can place anything in the world automatically. I don't think that's a thing that's possible. I'd say that's pretty good. Just double check everything below the water here. All looking pretty good. Actually, maybe I'll make that andesite. That does not look good at all. Second question, can the crafter be used as a decorative table for a flower pot? I guess so. It's directional, so you could use the underside of it. Uh, 
Yeah, it works just like a normal block as far as that goes. Just like an observer. Like if you like the look of an observer, you could use an observer in a, in a build if you wanted to. Yeah, the, I wish more blocks in the game were directional like the crafter. All right, so that concludes that area. Now we're back to over here. And I think this is pretty solid. I maybe just want to balance out a little bit of that cobble over here. See, this is again where tough slabs would be nicer to mess around with, I think. Yeah, this didn't need much because we had already done a lot of this a couple weeks ago. Do you have a couple of things here I'd like to change? Oh, I don't have any slabs. I guess I'll use those. Didn't bring any gravel. I knew I only had so long to get away with not having any. Dalam and Dam, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. Reach the end of the first hour, says Sandy. Thanks very much. I think we'll probably be able to finish up this um, this run of the west side of the bank and then we'll do the east side when I get back. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. I could try maybe a little bit of cobble down here. Yeah, that does make it feel a little bit more sturdy, doesn't it? Cool. All right. So the only thing we have to do on this other side, which we'll do after my break, is um, this section over here at the bottom of these stairs. So I want to treat the edge of this here and the edge of it on the other side here, similar to what we did with the iron ore around the corner. So I need a better um, border between the edge of the andesite and the edge of this. And I really like the way that that looks. So we're going to do that and I'll do that when I come back. If you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to reheat my coffee and grab a little bit of a stretch. 
you should too grab a snack, grab a friend. We are always trying to grow the channel. So if you want to let people know that I'm live and bring in a couple more eyeballs, then that would be greatly appreciated. And we'll be back in about five or six minutes.
since we're back here, we might as well dump a bunch of the stuff that we don't need to bring back. Sandbox here somewhere. Where did I free? I think I freed up room. I did. The mighty Elkhorn is here. How's it going, Elkhorn? Man, it is really coming down outside. I've got errands to run later today, and even though I've got a, a car at the moment, I, like, I'm not even looking forward to it. Like, like it's it doesn't make a difference. It's raining that hard that going to a store, you're just going to get soaked just going from the parking lot into the store. All right, I'm going to go down this way. Uh, things are well so far. Starting to deal with spring allergies and and humidity changes. Like we're getting temperature changes from minus ten to plus ten, and then eighty five to one hundred percent humidity with rain, and it's uh it's a little rough sometimes. All right, so let's get in here and work in a little bit of some contrast. I don't know if I'm going to put iron ore in here. I might not. I might just try and see if I can do this with just the tough and the cobblestone. Oh, that doesn't really look very good, does it? It helps a little bit. Certainly better than what was there before. Not crazy about that. Maybe this has to be lower. Then that feels like a really hard line. Well, that's better. This may not work. Might be too dark. It's okay.
I think that's just enough to separate it. I think that's that's all I want to do. And then I'll um I'll do the same thing over here. Although this it's really you're not going to really be able to see that from certain angles. Uh, moss could be okay. I just there's not a lot of vegetation over there. There's no place for anything to really take hold. So I'm trying to stick with just these blocks. There'll be more mossy on uh, this side of the river, uh, like that side, because we've got stuff like this, right? So up at the top, there needs to be a little bit. Can't really see it from anywhere else. Yeah, so it's just at the top. So one, two, three. So like at that point down, need to have a little bit of separation, I think. Yeah, so here I think is where we could squeeze in. Where we've got a slab here, we could change that to cobble. And start to work in a little bit more like this. Or we even reverse that. Darker on the bottom. Sometimes if you can get away with doing these little half, half tough pieces, it looks okay. Or little bits of tough that kind of peek out above the waterline, although that's a little bit a little bit dark too. I think I maybe need to switch these. And then we'll go back in with some andesite on top of that. That does not work. I might need to tuck some stuff in the back here as well. And that hopefully will make a good transition. I'll have to work in a little bit of andesite here too, I think.
And that sort of feels like a straight line. There we go. Kind of bleed it off horizontally. That kind of looks good. I mean, if you wanted to, you could totally put mossy stuff here. It's not like it's it would look bad. I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. Yeah, I wasn't... I thought that would be better. Uh, maybe we do that there. Still feels like a really hard line right there. But it does give a nice shadow back there, which is good. I wonder if I add a tough in here, if it'll help. Sort of. Okay, I think that's working. I think I've got that. I think I've got that sorted. Maybe we can add a little bit of flavor out this way too. A little erosion, maybe. Even that little peak helps. Yeah, I feel like it's now feeling a lot more s separate from the back. Uh, I think I'll change this to a slab. Squid death, yeah. Yeah, you can see the andesite more. Yeah, the contrast really helps. Yeah. I think we're good. I'll check from inside the courtyard of the mansion here. Yeah, just wanted that little bit of separation. Do with slab up here though.
Oh, that's a building. We need shorter rockets. Yeah. Good stuff. Can't really see it from anywhere else. I guess the other thing would be upstairs in here. I don't know if you're far enough forward to see it or not. No, you really can't. Just a little bit here. All right, well, we can continue to swim along here. We've already done all the lower stuff here, so that's good. This is feeling a little bland. And that takes us all the way to the gate. And we're good. Okay. So now we go the other way on this side. And in some places, this is done. Like this is, I'm not changing any of this. Uh, this is a little bit on the boring side. So I'd like to try to do something here. And this is where we might get some mossy cobble going. Ender pearl, yeah, that's fair, but it's something else I have to carry around, right? I don't think we're going to do much for iron ore, so I can probably put that away. I will keep the cobble. Now, mossy cobble. That's probably the only other thing I want to bring in. I might want to grab some leaves. What did I use for leaves down there? Is it mangrove? Hobo skunk, hello. Uh, yeah, mangrove roots and mangrove leaf blocks. Maybe moss. So this to me feels kind of boring. So I'd like to do what we were doing before by bringing in some darker blocks. Good news is here we don't have to worry about creating any kind of border. It's more about just a gradient. So that should right away enable us to see the shape of that cliff a little bit better. Yeah, I gotta actually come a little bit farther out.
All right, so that looks more, way more interesting. Or it's starting to, anyway. And because of the seagrass here, we can start to get into some of this mossy cobble. And I think that'll help with the tree as well. Maybe we'll do tough back here. Did I bring slabs? I did. Right, so you're starting to see the layers there, which is good. I know why I took the elytra off. Might be able to get a tough back in there. That's a little harsh, maybe just cobblestone. So you can see here where I try to do. A little bit of work with the andesite, but it, uh, I think even it was back before tough was added to the game. Last time I was back here, I try not to revisit stuff too much, but seeing as we're going on a final detail pass, I finally finished work for the day free until tomorrow says cosmic good stuff. This is not working for me. Pix Raid. Pixel Riffs coming in with over 500 people. Thanks so much, Pix. Welcome in. Let's turn on the fancy cam. Hope everyone's having a good day so far. Whoop says little dorky. Tiltsa, hello. Miss Tilly, Pixel Raid, Pixel Raid. Folks, if you're not already following Pixel Riffs, I mean, if you're part of my channel and have been here for a while, then you know who Pixel Riffs is. Uh, Pixel Riffs also subbing 66 months. It's an evil amount of months. Thanks ever so much. What are we doing on stream today, Pix? There's all kinds of Pixel Riffs on the interwebs this week. Uh, I just published 
a new episode of the Citadel Cafe with Johnny and myself. So Pixel Rips and I talked about Avatar The Last Airbender, plus we put out a new Spawn Chunks on Monday. So Monday and Wednesday. That Citadel Cafe podcast is like two hours long too. Axiom, hello. Jen Brock. They were digging, 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 digging. Oh, was it Minecraft SOS? Was that the... Digging to Minecraft SOS down to Y73. Wow. What did you start at? 90 something? I mean, it's a huge area. It's like 128 diameter circle. Diggy diggy hole. 108. Oh gosh. Wow. Well, good for you. So 27, 35 layers. Given some of them are not full layers. So I'll give people a, a look at what we've been up to. We uh, were working on the river banks of this giant cliff. And we're just kind of going around. We've done the West Bank, and now we started the East Bank. The East Bank is mostly done, because, of course, the, the town situates on the East Bank. But here's the ominous cliff that we've been working on the last few weeks. So I removed all the dirt from this and just replaced it with stone. It looks really cool. So what we've been doing today have been things like this, where I wanted to separate this andesite from the back of it so it's like doing a little bit of texture here just to kind of separate to make sure this looks like a separate kind of rock deposit like little bits like that and then we've got more of it further on there's a better example of it this way too randomly 505 thanks very much i'll, I'll be quick to point out that this is three and a half years in the making <laughs> so <laughs> it looks cool but i've been here a while but i appreciate that so over here we even threw in some uh, iron ore Again, a little bit of an andesite deposit. And all of this is just because like, this is a little point of interest. So I wanted to make sure this looks good. And I'm not sure why my frame rate is tanking so much. And then we did, this was already done. We did this a couple weeks ago. And that's the wrong way, I'm gonna go back. So now I'm coming back up and doing, um, doing the, um, the east bank of the river yes sandy not a bad idea uh, so i'm going to pop up to one of these towers and i'll show you kind of where we are i'm going to go up there and we'll take the long way so this is the keep we have not finished the interiors yet as you've heard me talk about on the sponge chunks podcast probably i uh, i have yet to decide how i'm going to handle the furniture but we do have a tower we can see things from so we are in a bit of a lion king situation <laughs> where i've been going around and basically tweaking everything that the light touches <laughs> so we've got about 21 chunks from east all the way west i'll go slow so my camera doesn't go too blurry and you can see actually a part of the southern mountain that we haven't actually changed yet. So that's what the mountain used to look like with a bunch of dirt on it. And that was all along through here. And so we removed all that dirt. Left a little bit at the top, but we moved all of it. And if we look at the map, this is the river that we're working on right now coming down through there. So when you first arrived, we were down in that area there. But the last few weeks we've been doing riverscaping, we've been planning out farms that have not been built yet, and uh, doing things like wheat fields and swamps and all kinds of stuff. So the town is pretty much done. There's a couple of interiors, like I said, the keep that needs fixing. And I think there's one or two things. The keep basement, uh, that water mill wheat mill does not have an interior yet so there's like little things like that that i have to check off but for the most part it's it's all finished we did a lot of custom riverbanks so that every view from within the city is kind of custom custom handled so uh, you can see right where it stops because that's where you can't see from the city anymore that's when i stopped stopped the landscaping so anyway i'm going to switch these off so i can have a normal frame rate again Again, thank you ever so much, folks, for coming in. Thanks for the follows. Really appreciate it. I've lost track of all the different follows. That's amazing. 
Hope you had a good time with Pixel Riffs. Johnny, I'm sure if you've got to uh, peace out and go, you probably have dinner and stuff to get ready. So no worries if you've got to do the normal post-stream taking care of yourself thing. Uh, Talazzv, I think I'm saying your name right, or Talazv. Thanks very much. I'm glad you like the podcast. Listen to the other one. Listen to the Citadel Cafe as well. Free wherever you find your podcasts. And Johnny was on this week too. Uh, Tilts. Uh, this is my first time seeing the whole place after hearing so much about it on the Sponge Chunks. Thanks very much. Ignore the TARDIS. That's a prank from Alistair. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to get rid of it right now. Can I not? There we go. Put that away. I'll I'll re-deliver it. <laughs> do do do. It's a clever little. It's a fun little prank. It's non-invasive. It's just like a fun little server nod. But yeah, so the the vibe around here is is pretty solid. I think we do have a couple of data packs. I use the uh, armor stands data pack to get items on the hanging signs. I really wish we could do that natively. That's the armor stand. And then we've also got things like that. And leaning shields and hanging swords. Like those are just little armor stands that are invisible. And we have the mini blocks as well, which I think adds a lot. Uh, SMP, yep. Yeah, myself, Cosmic, Steven ESC, Alistair McFly, and Hannah. Oh, and MacCast. Not everybody streams. It's usually just myself, Cosmic, Steven, and Alistair. And they're busy adults, so they don't stream as often as I do. Uh, sleep. Careless, thanks very much for the kind words. Appreciate it. Adds 100% flavor though, impact. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I look at it. Like I, I approach the Citadel very similar to Hermitcraft in that if it's something that I really feel should be in the game, still uses the vanilla textures, then I'll just go for it. So what we were doing when, um, when y'all came in was uh, taking a look at this very boring stone wall or stone cliff and wanting to add some texture to it so it was a little bit more interesting here from the bottom. And I think I'm going to change this to cobblestone I'm also separating the layers a little bit so you can kind of see like there's a layer of stone and a layer of stone that sort of stuff trying not to get too crazy with it It is a little bit of a slow process, but uh, I think worth it in the end. I want to add some stuff in here. Maybe some cobble instead. And we haven't really done much below the waterline. We're just kind of focusing on this right now. How do I get in-game voice chat in Minecraft? There is a um, mod called voice chat. What's it called? Simple voice chat. That's the name of it. Should be available wherever you get mods. And yeah, it's proximity based. Thank you ever so much for all the follows, folks. Really appreciate it.
Okay, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take some of this down here and extend this so that it goes down where you would expect it to go. This is where I really wish we had tough slabs. We were talking about that earlier. I'm thinking about actually adding that data pack to the server so that we can get the crafter and some of the tough blocks sooner. So that looks like it makes a little bit more sense. We'll also take out this andesite at the bottom and replace it. Now that looks pretty seamless, I think. Yeah, makes sense. It's easy to get the, I'll wait until I have, and then I don't build anything. Yeah, I think that's one of the things too that, that I want to get into. Wow, that's dark. That's a thunderstorm. Please tell me that I make happy little trees. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're looking at a couple. I do, I do the custom tree thing from time to time. I was actually thinking about bringing uh, this across here. I don't know if this would make sense or not. Can't see it. Actually, yeah, let's get this down lower. It's not a lot, but it's just a little bit of green. Maybe what we'll do is um, mossy cobble this instead. And then I guess we'll go underneath it as well. Yeah. So there's not really, I guess the only other vantage point would be up on the wall. Everything's got an interior, by the way. Which, yes, was a lot of work. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Something else that happens a lot. This way. Yes. You know, that's not bad. I think maybe just a little bit more andesite in there. And we should be okay. Maybe a little bit in there too. Most of the time when you go up on these things, you can't actually see down at the right angle, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think the only other spot would be 
Yeah, that's the end of the line. This is the the edge. I see you over there. Stuff like this is fun too. A little wood chopping area. Now, where along here? Well, I'm back down here now. So definitely a spot there, and we'll work in something over across there too. Uh, you missed a Talas. I was up at the top there in the tower. There's um all kinds of VODs. There's VODs everywhere. Uh... Joel Duggan VODs, the entire thing. No cuts, no edits. The entire build over the last three years is all on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. And I went past it. There's a gate over here somewhere. There it is. Ah, I knew that was going to be harder to get to. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. You saw nothing. I'm wondering if we just change the profile of this hill a little bit. That would work. Actually, maybe I'll leave that grass and then we'll do lab. So this may not work. We'd have to come back over and change that. Or honestly, maybe we have to do that. Maybe that'll be the ticket. Just trying to get a little bit of separation there. I think that's good. And then we'll go back to some darker stuff over here. Oops, wrong block.
Oops. Oh, I have no more andesite. Uh, that doesn't fly. Let's go cobblestone there. Stone gates would be a welcome addition. Oh, you mean like an actual, like like the fence gate, but a stone gate? That could be kind of cool. I would rather go the other way. I would much rather have log walls. Like I would love these in a, in a log or a wood texture. Yeah, I think without spending an absolute ton of time over here, that's a pretty good solution. There's maybe a couple things we could add in here. Oh, again, out of andesite. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. Appreciate it. I normally uh, I normally wrap up about two hours in. Um, I'll go a little bit longer just because that was an awesome raid. But um, can you throw some raid options in chat, Sandy, if you get a chance? Thanks. I'm also happy to hear from other folks in chat if there's someone that's PG that kind of matches the kind of the vibes from Pixel Rifts and myself. I'm happy to to raid someone new. I can't stick around. I have to raid and run. I got to go to the gym. Got to keep on the adulting. Scotsman and Maggie Bike. How many people do we have in chat right now? 182. Wow. Okay. Uh, I need to go down here. Oops, that was meant to be andesite. Can I get out of here? Yes. Cat the possum. I'm not familiar with cat. Can you describe uh, the kind of content, Alcorn? I mean, I trust you. I'm just curious as to where we're where we're going. Yeah, I find that 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 even feels more interesting just from up here, right? I quite like that. I almost want a third texture to work in there. I wonder if gravel would work here. I removed all the purple out of my gravel, so it goes a lot better with all the grays. Actually, yeah, that works out quite well. Maybe a few more places up there. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. It creates such a harsh line. I think it was better off before. Having a little bit of deja vu. I feel like I've done this before. Well, when you get hard pressed for decisions like that, then you know it's time to walk away.
Relatively new to Minecraft, fairly chill, playing hardcore. They are adjacent to Halcyon Heights folks. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do that then. That'll be fun. If they're new, <laughs> dropping in a, a, a post-pixel raid will be will be a fun event. So to give everybody a bit of an overview, uh, in addition to the wall that we just worked on, we also did this, where we textured the two sides of this little rock oak crop. We did all of the little subtle things like adding slabs in certain places like here, making sure that this all sort of works, which I missed a spot there. Just little things like that. And we've got two sides or two tasks. We did we did the um, point of interests along the west bank and we smoothed out the west bank. We are currently working on the point of interest on the east bank, but honestly, like most of them are done. So I want to say the only thing left to do, which I will do on Saturday. Yeah, like this is all fine. Maybe we'll fix that up. I'd like to work on this a little bit. And then around the bend here, there is, um, there's this. This is just a hot mess. So I'd like to fix this. Not that you can see it from anywhere. It just looks really basic and I'd like to fix it. You can sort of get a glimpse as to what's going on here. And there's been talk of maybe a secret entrance or something, but I, I think that I just wanna, you know, come in here and add some smoothness to the cliffs and things like that. So I'll work on that on Saturday. That won't take very long. Um, as you can see, we should be good. Um, I'll probably, maybe what I'll do is this will probably end up with some leaves draping over it. I think that would be good. So from here, if you could see greenery coming down, I think that would be a nice contrast because this is supposed to be like a little secret wharf, right? Where you can then go up in here and there's secret passage inside. And, and there's also a staircase up to the garden. So even when you're up here, you can't see down there. So it's not really worth spending a lot of time on, but that'll be the last thing. And then we'll do the uh, bottom of the river. We have to go through and do the bone meal and stuff like that. So we'll handle that. Although it's pretty good. It's not too far off. So uh, because we have all these new people here, I'll fly up somewhere as high to do the old send off here. Where's a good spot? I guess where we were before. So here's an overview of the scale of the West Hill Valley. And then of course, West Hill sprawling out all around us here. Hopefully I can still make this. Survey says not gonna happen. All right, next best thing is here. So folks, thanks for hanging out and spending some time. I appreciate everybody that stuck around and left a follow after that Pixel Rifts raid. I really like the way that this monolith of a mountain looks now. Really happy with that. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, Friday. Uh, Minecraft is scheduled for Saturday. Friday is normally Lego, but I don't have any Lego sets to build. So I might actually take a break and build, uh, play a different game tomorrow. I don't know. I could default back to Minecraft. We'll, we'll have to see. But one o'clock Atlantic, that's UTC minus three hours. That's tomorrow. Uh, as I mentioned before, do follow the Spawn Chunks and the Citadel Cafe podcasts. They are free. They are on all major podcasting platforms, including YouTube. Please leave a like, a review, a follow. It's all free, and it does a great deal to help myself out on my uh, podcasting adventures. And, of course, I do the Spawn Chunks with uh, Pixel Riffs, who rated earlier today. And uh, actually, the latest episode of the Citadel Cafe also has Pixel Riffs on it. We talked about Avatar The Last Airbender. That's like a two-hour show. Really, really fun conversation. I, I had a blast talking with Johnny about that stuff. You can follow me on social media at Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And of course, check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan if you'd like to support the stream. It's only two bucks a month. You get access to the Discord. You get access to live recordings of the Citadel Cafe when you're in there. And it is a very consistent and fantastic way to support me or any other favorite creator that you have. Chances are they have a Patreon, so ask them about it if you have not already. Uh, I will be back tomorrow, one o'clock Atlantic. In the meantime, we're gonna raid, I can't remember their name. Katie the Possum or something. Alcorn recommended uh, be kind. Hashtag Joel Raid in chat and um, pass on the good vibes. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.